Hi, this is Michnia, a Romanian living in Beijing. Welcome to my studio and check this out. Today is the 21st of July and it's a very, very special day. Let me show you why. I have the reason right here. Right here is the reason why today is a very special day. These are all my passports. This is my first ever passport. And let's have a look here. 21st of July 2002, Immigration Bangkok, Thailand. Yep, that's it. 17 years ago, I left my home country and I moved to Asia. Today, 21st of July 2019, marks 17 years of me being abroad. This is just insane. And what's even more insane is that today, we are living on a 21-day trip to Darjeeling. And it's the 21st of July. And it marks 17 years since I've been abroad. This is just madness. The trip to India started with a Didi ride, the Uber of China, to Beijing Capital International Airport. The driver had a talisman dangling from the rear view mirror, so we felt safe. Our China Eastern flight to Kunming, where we were supposed to board another flight for Calcutta, was delayed. But in the end, we did manage to get on another flight and off we were to Kunming, the capital city of Yunnan province in southwest China. And then, all of a sudden, the plane throttled up and in no time we were airborne. The view from above was awesome. The wing seat window offered opportunities for some great shots. As the day was clear with no pollution, no smog and no clouds, I had a good view of the massive apartment projects rising on the outskirts of Beijing. When we passed over the center of the capital, Beijing's newest tallest building, the skyscraper China Jun, could be clearly seen soaring up in the sky at a height of 528 meters. With its 108 floors, it is the 10th tallest building in the world, but only ranks as China's 6th tallest building. As we flew further south of Beijing, we passed over Beijing Nanyuan Airport, a military and civilian airport that served the capital as a secondary airport. This airport closed its runways to civilian flights when the new Beijing Daxing International Airport opened later in the year. Gradually, the urban sprawl of inner Beijing gave way to the villages and the mountain paths of the Xishan mountain range in the west. It was a rare opportunity to see so clearly the winding roads meandering across the mountains. After a good 20 minutes, we reached cruising altitude and we were basically up in the clouds waiting for the cabin crew to start serving a plastic wrap bun which we had with orange juice. No real meal was provided on this short 4-hour flight from Beijing to Kunming. When we slowly started descending over Yunnan province, the sky was crystal clear. We could immediately see the differences in the landscape compared to northern China. Stretching for miles and miles, rice terraces and greenhouses were visible with the naked eye. Several major rivers and the tropical climate make Yunnan province a great place for rice production, which is actually their main crop. But tea, tobacco and cotton are also grown here, among many other crops.
more time, we landed at Kunming Changshui International Airport. Our journey to India was just beginning. and keep your seatbelt fastened until the song is up to avoid disturbing other passengers. for flying with China Eastern Airlines and member Sky Team Lines. See you next time.